Hi, good morning. I'm Angie and I am 24 hours pre liposuction surgery. So I'm going to take you guys on a journey with me. So um, I'm scheduled for liposuction tomorrow at Sono Bella at 3 o'clock with a 1.30 arrival time. This is all happening pretty quick. I just went in Wednesday for a consultation at 5.15. Um, kind of just wanted to go and get some more information about it. Was still kind of on the fence to know if I wanted to do it. Is this something I can afford? Is this a good time right now? Um, did want to just kind of go in and focus focus on the abdominal area. So did the consultation. I did go ahead and put down the deposit, which is in my case it was five hundred dollars. Then I did book a surgery date for February the eleventh. So they called me yesterday at work. They had a couple of um, questions for me, needed to send over some paperwork. And then so I asked about some potential different dates, just in case something doesn't work out, like with my schedule at work. And then they let me know they had actually had an opening for tomorrow, which is Saturday at 3 p.m. So I did go ahead and I booked that. So since things are kind of rolling fast, um, what I started doing to kind of prepare for the surgery is I know normally they want you a week beforehand to hold all vitamins, hold all aspirin based product medication and increase your in, uh, water intake. So um, I normally try to drink as much water as I can. And so what I did this morning is I fill this up and I'm taking this to work with me today. I did order this off Amazon. Um, it is kind of difficult to keep up with, but I do try my best. But today it's not an option. I'm going to do it. And it kind of gives a breakdown like 8, 10, 12, 2, 4, 6, and 8 o'clock. Your goals that you need to need to hit for the day. So I'm going to drink this and then possibly try to do a half. And then tomorrow morning, do the same thing. So since my surgery is coming up so soon, I am going in today for my pre-op. At 2 30 they said it should be like 30 minutes to an hour I'll go in I'll meet the surgeon we'll look at my area he'll tell me um, if he recommends the skin removal for me um, and so if that is an option that is probably something I'll go ahead and book also so the area I'm having done is my abdominal area let me show you guys so I'm getting my upper my lower and then my waist done. So I am 30 years old. I don't remember if I mentioned that in the beginning of the video. Um, have three kids. I have gotten my stomach almost flat before by working out. And then over the last year, I just kind of have not done anything, but it has come back. But when I did get my stomach completely flat, I did have a little bit of extra skin, but I was able to hide it. So it was no big deal. Um, but all this kind of came back within a year. So it, it is a bit of a struggle trying to maintain and keep it off. So I'm getting this, this, and this done. I'll show you a side view. It's not too bad, but it's enough to where it bothers me. You know, I don't feel super comfortable in my, in my clothes. So I just wanted a little boost and I am going to continue and get back on my workout journey. How I was doing beforehand. So this is the area I have done. Um, what I do know so far about the surgery is I will be awake. So I'm a little nervous about that. They're gonna give me a local anesthetic, which is just really numb up the area really good. Um, so I'm a little bit nervous about that, I, I can't lie. Um, I am a nurse, so I'm kind of prepared to make sure I get home, I'm gonna keep my dressing, um, jet dressing changed as they recommend. Make sure my areas are good. The puncture points should be three small dots. I don't know where they, well, they're gonna be located at, but they told me I will get. Now, if I do have the skin removal, they told me that is a very quick healing process. They'll just remove it. I should have a scar along the bikini line. Um, and they told me I'll come home kind of in a binder, so I'll wear that. But just wanted to give you guys an update because when I tried to do some research, I did find a couple of videos um, on like average females that had this surgery done. So I wanted to kind of do this to help somebody else on their journey if they were thinking about getting it. 
So I will do another update after I go in for my pre-op today. Thanks.